Hey there, my name is Benson, and right now you are looking at the Axis Koa Skate from Arbor. This is what the deck looks like. It also comes in a bamboo version, but the only difference is a bamboo top sheet. This is Koa. Koa looks nice. Bamboo's cool because it is sustainable, grows super fast, really good to make skateboard out of. Anyways, like I said, everything else is the same, same dimensions, same parts, so we'll look at the Koa board right now. As you can see, this is a drop through drop mount type of skateboard. Usually trucks are just mounted to the bottom of the board. This actually has a cutout, which you can kind of see right here. Trucks get mounted through there. It allows the board to sit lower to the ground, be a little bit more stable. So that's really cool. This board is great for carving, great for cruising around, hills, bombing hills, speed, sliding, all that stuff you want to do. It'll do everything. You can get around town with this, but if you're doing most of your commuting around town, you may want to look at something with more of a kick tail. While Arbor says this has a functional tail, it is very short and questionable. Anyways, I would recommend this for carving and bombing down hills. So what makes this board so cool? You've got a 40 inch length. It's going to be about nine inches at its widest point, maybe a little bit less, because as you see it kind of curves in, has a concave, kind of like a snowboard and then you've got a 30 inch wheelbase. This board's gonna be super stable at high speeds due to the Paris trucks right down here on the bottom. It's got that reverse kinkman style, so it's gonna carve really well, be really smooth when you're carving, but at high speeds, you're not gonna get those speed wobbles. So that makes this board really good for bombing hills and carving. Some of the cool things about this board is its symmetrical shape. It's exactly the same. If you were to cut it in half, you could flip it on its side and it's gonna look exactly the same. So you can ride this forward, backward, switch, regular. It's all gonna ride the same because of that symmetrical shape. Arbor has laced this up with some ABEC 5 bearings right down here. Put those inside of 72 millimeter 78A wheels. Those wheels are gonna be soft enough that they're gonna cruise around and provide a really stable, soft ride. But yet they're not gonna to be too grippy where you can't slide. So if you like sliding, these wheels will be good for that. If you like cruising, they'll be good for that too. So that is the Arbor Axis Complete Skateboard. Check out tactics.com for other graphics, for the bamboo version, all that stuff, all that good info will be at tactics.com. So check it out.